We are warned to slow down in school zones, stop when school buses have their flashing lights on and stop arms out, and watch for children. A Winston-Salem man contacted Fox 8 to report a school bus driver who he says is constantly speeding down his residential street. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer spoke to him and school district leaders to get to the bottom of his concerns. Caroline, what did you find out? Neil Katie, a district spokesperson confirmed there is an investigation underway involving a school bus speeding on Cloister Drive in Winston-Salem. The man who reported it to us says it has happened dozens of times this school year. He wants something done before someone gets hurt. How fast you think this bus is going this morning? Look at it. 923. I started coming out every morning and watching it, so, and it's just progressively getting worse. Johnny Schwodwa captured this video on his cell phone Tuesday morning. He says he called the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools Transportation Department, and a representative told him the bus was going 42 miles per hour on Cloister Drive. The posted speed limit is 25 miles per hour. It's very frustrating because it's, it's like a blatant disregard for safety in this residential neighborhood. A spokesperson for the school district told Fox 8, quote, our buses have GPS for a host of reasons. We can determine speed, location, exact time of stop, and more. He would not confirm if the bus was speeding when this video was taken. Johnny says the driver was and does it often. On an average, anywhere from 38 to 45 mile an hour. And that's usually about 8 a.m. or 2.30 to 3.30 in the afternoon. There's older people that walk their dogs and walk the neighborhoods in the morning, and it's just a safety concern. Johnny posted this sign along the street to remind people to slow down. He also has a green plastic cutout of a child to let people know there are children in the area. Trying to help with the traffic, but it's just not doing any. It's, just, it's not doing anything. The district spokesperson said in a statement, we certainly do not condone buses speeding and train our drivers to be aware of their surroundings as often the speed limit is still too fast for a vehicle of that size, especially given the fact buses often have several passengers on board. Student safety is always a top priority. Once the investigation into this complaint is finished, I'm told the district will take appropriate measures. Katie.